All right, let's go to our next requirement, which is requirement number 10 to apply conditional formatting. Uh, if the transactions are below average, highlight it with light red number three color. Uh, if they're above average, go ahead and uh, highlight them with light green three color. All right, so um, one of the things that you can see here is that I have not kept up the right format. I'm gonna, I like to keep everything, any, every spreadsheet, it's really readable uh, or, or, or legible with a Tahoma 9. Uh, so I'm gonna keep it on Tahoma 9 or even a Tahoma 8 when you wanna work in the industry. And then I am gonna try to um, get the right sizing, make sure that, you know, the quantity is, is just a numeric feel that the, revenue cost of goods sold figures and the operating margin uh, is uh, let me keep it the way it was um, they're both financial figures let me make these three columns a little bigger All right, and the transaction ID is here. Everything, everything else looks the same. Normally, what I would have asked you to do is to do a format with alternating colors. Just keep it simple and gray, right? And then just, just get it, get it done, right? This is the way you would submit something to a client. Uh, now, the requirement is asking us to do a conditional formatting formula that is based on this particular uh, field. So the way this works is I only want to highlight. I only want to conditionally format the following fields. So I'm going to go to format, conditional formatting. I want to make sure that nothing in here is there. So I'm going to get rid of all of those uh, conditional formats that were existing there for whatever reason. And I'm going to create a rule. So the way I'm going to do this, I'm going to, I'm going to apply it to range A2 to L1000. And there's a bunch of stuff that you can do, like data is blah blah blah. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use a custom for custom cust, cust, custom formula. Um, and the way we do a custom formula is you always start with the equal sign, right? And say if k two, we're gonna start with the very first. We're gonna start with the very first row. If k two, right? Imagine that I'm here on a two. So I wanna tell Google Sheets if k two is equal to above average, right? Then I want you to paint it with light green three. That's it. Notice that all of these worked, but none of the ones on the right worked. The reason for that is, imagine that Google Sheets takes this formula and applies it to each and every one of those cells. So if he moves to A3, it evaluates. Is K3 above average? And if it is, it paints it green. But when it goes to B2, it says is, is K2. If you move to the right, then you're gonna move to the right. So it's looking at the transaction ID field and asking whether it is above average or not. So we need to do an anchoring, and we only need to anchor the column. So when we anchor the column to evaluate, then every time you assess that evaluation, basically if I'm here on C9, I'm always gonna refer to column number K, but the number two is gonna move from two to nine when, when we ev evaluate it. So that's basically it. Then I'm gonna create another rule that is exactly the same, right? Um, I should have, I should have cop canceled. Let me, can I copy this? No. Well, I guess I'll just have to deal with it again. So I'm going to do a custom formula as well. And I'm going to say it's equal to K. I'm going to anchor that one with K2 is equal to below average, right? And then I'm going to make this light red number three. There you go. So when it's below average, I want the entire row to be highlighted like that. So only the ones that are average should be white or non-white or grayish. 
and that's okay. All right, so let me press done. And that's it. That was pretty simple, right? Okay. So once again, I can see the custom formula here, and I could have named the ranges, but I'm not going to get into that for now. So that's it. This is the way it should look, pretty much. Thank you very much.